have to know that the surface anatomy of supraorbitalium is here, and so the surface anatomy of supraterminal is here. So, the uh, important point is that the beam of orbit is here, about the eye. You have to put your probe up to the bone, okay? Even you can touch the foramen here, about two centimeters near to midline. This is the supraorbital foramen. And here you can uh, touch the notch of supraterminal here. Okay, so you put your probe and get, get a good view of the supraorbital beam and move it more or inward until you see the wedge shape of the foramen. You see, you see the wedge shape of the uh, supraorbital foramen and you can see the uh, pulse of the R3 here, okay? And then move your uh, probe more medially to see the supratrochlear notch, okay? Here you can see the uh, supratrochlear notch and the pulse of the uh, R3, okay? Uh, thank you. You can uh, search for the supra the trochlear vessel and supra orbital vessel with the uh, Doppler and it helps you better. I check it to the color, okay, and show you again. Okay, let's start from here. You can, you can see the hyper echoicity of the supra orbital rim and move inward here. Then you can see the wedge and the pulse of supraorbital R3, okay? And then move in more medially to see the notch, and in notch you will see the uh, pulse of supraorbital R3. You have not to put too much pressure because they are very superficial. Thank you. I hope to see you uh, in my workshop, and uh, we have many, many to talk about, about kind of headache about which injection is useful for some kind of headache. And we have many, many uh, injections here, and uh, looking forward to seeing you. Thank you very much.